Hi guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to take you through my house and show you the things I have never regretted purchasing or receiving. gone to the store and you saw something that it seemed like something that you would absolutely love and you purchase it and a month or two later you look back and you're like I have never used this before well I have items that I have purchased that are the same exact way but I also have items that I have purchased that I have never regretted purchasing and I have never regretted receiving. And so I'm gonna take you through my house and I'm gonna show you those items. So let's get going. Okay, so here is my diaper bag. This thing is amazing. They are very expensive if you are going to buy them brand new, but I bought mine used on eBay and honestly, I have enjoyed this diaper bag so much. My husband doesn't mind carrying it. It's just an all-around good diaper bag. It's got the strap, and then it's also got the handles for a backpack. So that is one of the things that I absolutely love. Today is the Jolly Jumper. If you don't know what a Jolly Jumper is, you are missing out if you have kids. So this hangs from the door frame and then this, your child sits in, kind of like a holster. And they sit in and they can bounce. And this is so nice if you have kids that love to be held. So this would have to be one of my others. Now you're probably wondering why all of my stuff so far has been baby related well it's because I would have to say right now that's the stage of life that I'm in but not everything is going to be that so let's get going into the kitchen in my kitchen my next favorite would have to be my KitchenAid this it's just one of the things in my kitchen that I could not replace because I absolutely love it. It does so much for me. So the next thing I would have to say is my Mrs. Meyers clean day. I know that sounds very weird, but my hand soap, I used to use Bath and Body Works, but I changed over to this because my sister had it and the smell of it was basil and it just it smelled amazing it was a subtle smell it wasn't that strong potent perfume type smell and so that would have to be one of my other favorites that i never have regretted buying i love the smell of it i love the soap itself it's great next thing would have to be my dyson this is the 11 and oh this is amazing picks up cheerios off of the floor it is just beyond amazing my husband got this for me and that is something i use a couple times a day and it just does an amazing job so 
That is the other thing that I would say I have never regretted having. The next one is my Yeti. My Yeti is just amazing. I have absolutely loved having this. It keeps my drinks warm, my coffee. It keeps just everything nice and hot. And I just love the size of it. It's just an amazing thermos. And so that if when I suggest any kind of thermos to anybody, this is definitely one of them because I just, it does an amazing job. And so this is one of my other favorites. This is another one. This is our high chair. My husband's cousin had one of these and I know it's filthy, but it is used quite a lot. But this is the high chair that we use for Cherith and I absolutely love it. We can take it wherever we want to go, but also it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room. We can still have a chair there and there's no high chair off in the corner taking up space but we love that we can take it off if we need to and so this is another keeper in our house then comes my straightener this is a cheese straightener i at least that's how i think you pronounce it this is one amazing thing i have owned this type of straightener for years and I will never go back to the cheap straighteners. This has done just an amazing job. Um, I love it. And so okay, so here is another thing that my husband and I have not regretted ever buying. So my son is three. He has no clue how to tell time. And since he has been about two years old, he has not been sleeping in a crib. That is his bed, somewhat made, not as neatly, but anyway, he sleeps in regular bed. Well, he goes to bed at night and we put him to bed, but in the morning when he wakes up, he has no idea if he's supposed to come out of his room or if he's supposed to stay in his room. So when he wakes up in the morning, he will look at his clock and his clock will either be a sun or it will be a star. If it's a sun, that means he's allowed to come out of his room and it's time to wake up. If it's a star, then it means that he still has to stay in his room and it's not time to get up. Now. At night, when we're setting his clock, since he doesn't know how to tell time, we set his clock, we push this button, and this sun will come up, and there will be a little bitty star flashing. So what you we do is we push this button to push enter, and the sun will quickly turn to a star. And this is how he knows that he has to stay asleep he will know when he needs to get up by these little stars around here. These little stars will slowly disappear and once they're all gone, the star turns to a sun. And so then he knows it's time to get up. And if he's like, how much longer is it gonna be? How long is it gonna take for the sun to come up? He can just look at the little stars. Um, but it helps him know this is time to get up or this is time to go to sleep. And so that is another thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. For those of you who are new to this channel, you can hit that red subscribe button down below and there's a little bell off to one side and you can hit that and you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. For those of you who would like to leave a comment down below, let me know some of the products that you have never regretted purchasing. And so I'd love to hear from you. I'd even love to try out some of those 
items. Um, so just let me know as long as I can get them up here. I would be more than willing to try them. So I will see you in the next video and have a good day. Bye.